Good morning, YouTube. Rise and shine. Today is going to be an awesome day. I'm here in Tijuana, Mexico, staying at the Quartz Hotel, and I'm gonna walk a mile um, over the Tijuana River to Paseo de los Heroes for hair transplant, FUE, follicular unit extraction with Dr. Carlos Alessandrini. Making here with about 10 minutes to spare. I left the hotel at 7.30 and um, I'm making it very smooth, very straightforward walk. You just have to cross over the bridge and uh, you're coming here now to this building and I have to find what floor he is on. I know for a fact this is the building because it's the picture that he sent me with the right address. So let me see where I need to go. Okay, he is on the third floor. Dr. Carlos Alexandrini. So let me go upstairs. Hey, Dr. Carlos. Hey. Come in. So, each tree that is being taken from the backyard that is going to be placed on the vertex, it's not going to grow back in the backyard because we, it has been moved. Okay? So your job is to keep those new trees on their new place. Water it, you know, fertilize it. You know, I would say even watch your neighbor dog that doesn't come and dig it out, you know, because that is your job. So if you do your part, follow my recommendations to the letter, you'll have an excellent result. Okay? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Hola. Hello. Hello. Oh. Okay. And then the plasma gets spin again. Most doctors don't do that. Mm. So when they spin it again, the, the, the platelets precipitate to the bottom and that's what we get. From 50 milliliters of blood, you get five milliliters of PRP. And then what are you gonna do with that? Fly it on the area where we're gonna be transplanted. Okay. Okay. Super. All righty. <clears throat> so let's get you ready. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. If you move your feet a little bit or your shoulders, that is going to make that your body and the better move. And that could lead to as damage your body. And obviously we don't want to lose none, so if you need to move, just let us know a few seconds before, okay? And if you need to use the restroom, you do have to let us know five minutes before so that we can clean you up, remove everything that we have in your head, and then you can go to the restroom, okay? okay. Also, if you need anything, any question that you have, if you want to know what's that sound, what you're doing, feel free to let me know, okay? Okay. And I think that's all. You know, that we're gonna be like your gardeners because we're gonna go to your backyard. We're gonna take all the trees that you have there and we're gonna transplant them to the recipient area, okay? So this could be the front, the sides, or your vertex. So we're gonna be doing the vertex. So each tree that is being taken from the backyard that is gonna be placed on the vertex, it's not gonna grow back So what is this? These are glass. Wow. How many of those are? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. And, and what, what are they doing here? Oh, wow. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it, wow. Okay. 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 
So each tree that is being taken from the backyard that is going to be placed on the vertex is not going to grow back in the backyard because it has been moved, okay? So your job is to keep those new trees on their new place, water it, you know, fertilize it, you know, I would say even watch your neighbor dog that doesn't come and pick it up, you know? Because that is your job. So if you do your part, follow my recommendations to the letter, you'll have an excellent result. Uh, this is what we took from your blood. That's my plasma? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the 10 vials. Yes. <laughs> and this is the only thing they got? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's amazing. What are you going to do with it? We're actually going to be applying a topic. And that's gonna create like a jelly shell that's gonna protect the grass a little bit more, okay? Okay. That's pretty neat. They lead precipitate to the bottom, and that's what we get. From 50 milliliters of blood, we get 5 milliliters of PRP. So I just had this surgery with Dr. Carlos. Androsini, he's a half Italian man, and um, everything went very smoothly, um, very efficiently, very safely. It was relaxing, it wasn't painful, and everybody was courteous and nice. And I was just really kind of impressed by the level of service and the quality of care that he provided. So it has been 24 hours now since the surgery. I've been taking it easy, uh, resting in my room here in the Quartz Hotel on the ninth floor, enjoying the view of spectacular Tijuana. Um, I did sleep well. I did take a sleeping pill and um, I elevated my head at uh, about 45 degrees with two pillows. I did have some minor bleeding um, on the pillow, but nothing too major that we can't wash out. So um, I'm ready to go and uh, take off the bandage after 24 hours, which is about right now. And then as a doctor had asked um, for me to put some organic shampoo in a small mug and uh, drip it over the recipient area. And uh, don't touch it with a towel or blow dry it, just let it air dry which I would do right now, and then start cleaning the donor area. So I just got done washing the recipient area with some baby shampoo and water, just dripping it very lightly, and then washing it off with just water, and um, not using the towel to dry it, just let it air dry. And then with the donor area, you can see here, um, it looks pretty good. It's not really that bloody. Um, after I took the bandage off, I scrubbed it with a towel and some soap and I put some Aquaphor on it. Uh, here's, here's the Aquaphor um, and that will help it heal. And I'm going to drip some Hartman solution and some vitamin E cream on it every two hours while I'm awake. But here it is. It's looking pretty good and I'm quite happy with it.